What's up guys? It's Missy. I am back with another SimCity Build It video and you can probably guess what we're going to be talking about just by looking at my screen here. We are going to be talking about the Contest of Mayors again and I am going to make another attempt <laughs> at really teaching people exactly what to do here. Okay, so anybody here who has seen all of my comm videos you're having trouble still, or maybe, you know, your points have went up, but you're still making mistakes and you want to know what it is you're doing wrong. I'm going to do my absolute best to show you what I do. Okay. This has been the most challenging thing I have ever had to teach by far. Okay. I'm not going to lie. So don't feel bad if you're not getting the hang of it. You're not the only one. I swear to you, I probably have one, two. I have two people that I'm confident can make 99.9% .9 right decisions that I've ever trained. The rest of the people are around 90%. One of them I don't even talk to. I don't even know if she plays the game anymore. But she was pretty good when I talked to her. Um, and then the next one, we all know who that is, CPT. Okay, so if you're in that 90% range, Odds are is you're probably having most of your trouble in rotation or reverse rotation, which is pretty much the whole damn contest. Let's be realistic here because you're either in rotation or you're in reverse rotation at all times. Right. And so if you don't know the difference, you're going to have a really hard time in the contest. Now, right here, this is what we would refer to as the beginning of your list. If you look very closely, the very first thing that you should be looking at here, and I want everybody to pay very close attention once again, is setting the scene. That is number one, okay? That is very first thing you always do before you even think of answering what task should be chosen. And this is a big thing for people to kind of get over, okay? Because people, they naturally want to jump to the, the highest task, get it done, right? But you got to figure out what type of player you're dealing with here, right? Is this player able to even do upgrade tasks? We don't know until we know what we know about the player. Okay, so what I have to do whenever anybody sends me a list, I have to know everything that there is to know about that person's game. Now, granted, you're not really answering questions. You're more, you know, looking at your own game. So you should have a pretty good idea uh, right away what you can do and what you cannot do. But you still have to think about it. Right. And so it's still important to know what's going on in your game so that you can make the right choice. You're not going to make the same choice if you're at the beginning of the contest versus the end of the contest. So what we what we know is this is somebody in my group that is having a really hard time making the right choices. And I think I know why. He is always looking at opening up better opportunity then he is realizing when the good opportunity is in his face. So instead of him looking at the good opportunity that is there, he's always looking at something that could be instead of something that is. Now, sometimes you have to make the choice to cancel, and that is a hard choice to make. But when you make that choice, you know right away if it's what well, you should know right away if it's a right or wrong choice. So right here, we have a person that has started the contest of mayors. They are level 24, as you can kind of see in the top left corner. They have not done any uh, assignment at all. As you can see, they have zero points and they have 60 tasks remaining. It says five days, four hours. So this is the very beginning of the contest. And we know that this person is trying to win the mega league. We know what league they're in just by how many assignments they have been given. Okay, if you've been given 60 assignments, you're in Mega. So he's trying to win Mega. He's level 24. What is the correct choice for him? What is the very first thing that he should do? Now, as some of you may have noticed, these points values are higher. This should not trick your brain at all. It is the same thing. It is the same technique. It is the same choice as it would be if it was you know, last week where there's half point values. The only difference is you're trying to pick 4K task average versus a 2K task average. So anything around 4,000 points is a 2,000 point task, okay, on a normal week. So that's what you should be focused on. If 
your 3K tasks are double, then they're 6,000 points. So don't be doing the, the 2,000 point tasks assuming that you're running a 2K average and doing good. You need to run a 4K average this week. So the points values are going to be double. But like I said, that does not change your decision. It, it doesn't matter. Realistically, it doesn't matter. You're either running a 4K average or you're running a 2K average, but the choice still remains the same. So what is the very first thing that you need to do to determine which choice is correct? Well, you need to go through the whole damn list. That's number one. So let's do that. All right. What do we got up at the very tippy top of the list? We got a 6K upgrade. What do we know about this task that fits this person's game? Well, this person is level 24. They don't have any room on their uh, experience bar. That is for a London town upgrade anyways. And it's the very beginning of the contest. It's holding a 6,000 point place value, which is not good because that is like having a 3,000 point task that he cannot do. He will not be able to do at any point in the contest. And as long as it sits there, it's gonna take up a placement. But is it the right time to cancel? We don't know that yet. We don't know what else he has in his list. So let's keep going. So now we have a 4,000 point city expansion. Now, what we, the next thing we need to do is determine if this person has multiple city slots open left, because if they do, and they don't have the dozer to unlock them, then we need to leave this task alone. We don't want to cancel it. We don't want to mess with it because it'll just keep coming back. If he had enough dozer to do it, it would be ideal to go ahead and, and do that task at some point, maybe not just yet, but at some point. That's what we know. So I went ahead and I asked him, you know, do you have any dozer? He says, no, he doesn't have any dozer and he has a lot of spaces left. So, okay, that's out of the question. We're not even gonna even think about rotating that in any way. Now we have a 4,000 key task. Now, normally we would not touch keys, but because of its points value, we need it off the list of that points value. It will always be on your list for the most part, but we really can't afford to have it there taking up a 4,000 place value. So we know we're gonna need to do that one as well. Just as, it's just a matter of when. Now we have a 3,200 disaster zones. Now this one is still pretty high. We may have to take it, you know, because of the points value, but right now it's, it's not really uh, of importance at this current time. Then we have a 3,000 war delivery. Now this is a premium task, okay? So it can open up the possibility of something better happening, but it's only worth 1,500 points on a normal week. So it's not really, you know, something that we wanna mess with right this minute because we have such higher value tasks above it. So this is the bottom of his list. He has a 2,400 point epic. So on a normal week, that's half, that's 1,200. So that would be something that he may need to consider thinking about, you know, making sure he has one available and start prepping for one, but he might not even have to do that one. We'll see. It's still really early. He hasn't even done one task. He may have to rotate that out. Well, we, we don't know yet. Then he has a 1,000 valued monster. I'm saying these as if it was a normal week because I don't want it to confuse anybody. And the 1,000 point monster, we don't touch, remember? So it is worth 2,000 points this week, but again, it's technically worth 1,000 points. So we're not even gonna think of touching that. The 800 war attack for the 1600 there, that is rotatable, absolutely rotatable. But we're not right now. We don't need to take that hit right now. It's too low, but definitely something to consider in the future when we run out of options here. So essentially what we're doing is we're breaking down this list into two categories, premium and non-premium. We're taking all of the non-premium low value tasks and we're crossing them off the list. Meaning, what is a low non-premium? A low monster, a low view, a low keys, a uh, low Paris, um, all that kind of stuff. Those are low non-premiums. Now, what happens is people end up having low premiums. Something like the caps, that is a low premium. It's a production task, but it's, it's a low points value. So that could end up being your correct choice later on and, and you not even realize it 
because you're looking at a high non-premium. Like, let's say you were to pick a 1600 uh, VU repair over an 800 delivery or something, or like a 1000 point delivery. The 1000 point delivery can actually be more rewarding in, and in turn open up better options than whatever it is that I just said that you did. I can't remember now, but the point is a non-premium, a low non-premium is not something you wanna touch because it just opens up the possibility for it to reoccur, okay? So what we're doing right now is we're breaking down your list and we're saying, this is out, this is possible, this is out, this is possible. And then we go from all the possibles and we break them down into categories. So now what we've done, we've went through the whole list besides the, chem the chems. Now the chemicals, it's for 34 chemicals. However, it's only for 2000 points. Now that's only 1000 points. Do not touch that because if you touch that, you have to expect that it's going to come back, okay? And chemicals is not normally ever worth more than like 1,900 points. Now, realistically, that's trash. However, because it's the beginning of the contest and because he's level 24, we know that he has 40 factory slots available. Now, if he did his contest of mayor's prep correctly, he should have prepped something that was like glass or feed and it should be ready for pickup immediately. My guess is he probably didn't, okay? My guess is he probably prepped something two hours before the contest and is probably still making, and he probably did like 30 sugar, just, just short enough of ever being able to complete anything. That is stuff you don't wanna do, okay? Do not do that. You need to be really on point so that you can get stuff done really quickly. So now that we know what we know, we can cross off quite a bit, right? We know we're not gonna do anything from this point and down at this current moment. So let's go back to the top of the list. What is the correct choice? Is the correct choice the keys and leave the expansion sit because we can't touch it? Or is it to cancel the upgrade? Which, which do we do first? Canceling the upgrade is first. Why is canceling the upgrade first in this instance? I'll tell you. Because it's holding a 3k value, okay? It is not allowing for others to pop up, but more importantly, why is it that we're canceling it now? Why, why sometimes do we not do that even when it's 3K? Because of what's below it, okay? We know that there's really not that many high value tasks on this list right now. If you look very closely, there's, they're half value right now. So you have the 2,000 keys and the 2,000 uh, land. Those are the only ones that are right around 2,000 points, aside from the upgrade. You could do the keys if you would like, but realistically, that 3K upgrade is still sitting there, and you just canceled out like 50% chance of getting something good. So hey, you're better off canceling the upgrade now, okay? So I told him to cancel, all right? And let's see what he got. So he cancels the upgrade and he gets a, C, a 6K VU. Awesome, excellent, fabulous. That's pretty damn obvious what the, the choice is here, right? It's 6,000 points. It's the highest one on the list. It's premium, it's a go. So he, go, he goes ahead and does the launch three VU. Okay, now he gets an upgrade Latin home for 4,800 points. Now what do we do? Now we have a, a little bit of a predicament here. Okay, so now we need to reanalyze our situation again. We, are, we know what we know about the bottom of the list still. It hasn't been very long, so we don't need to go through that again. We're looking at the top four tasks at this point, right? So right now I'm going, okay, he's got 4,800 on that Latin, which is 2,400 on a normal day, okay? And... He's got the 2000 land expansion he can't do, which really sucks because that takes up a 2K placement. So then he's got the keys that take up a 2K placement. Now he has made up for the one task that he canceled. Okay, so he's, a, he's ahead on his average right now. Well, he's done two tasks and he has 6,000 points, right? So he's right on his average roughly. 
Well, no, actually he's not. He's still a little low on his average from having to cancel that one task. And then he did that one, so now he would be doing... Hang on. Why? Okay, that's why. I don't know why I thought he did. 59, 58, what? 58. Okay, that's why. Never mind. He's done three, technically, by the time he selects one. That's why it always trips me out, because he's, he's the only person that sends me a screenshot of the list before it's anything's been selected, and then again after it's been selected. So it always trips me out. Most people just send me the list after it's been selected. Or, you know, like, they'll send me the list, and then they'll send me the next list showing me what they chose while they couldn't get a hold of me or whatever. What is going on here? Okay. So, uh, what do we do? What is the next plan of attack here? Do we cancel the Latin home and further drop our average, even though it's only worth 2,400 points? It's still pretty high. It's still taking up one of our 2K placements, but we still have two other ones that we could bank in on right now. I think we should hold off on the canceling of the upgrade because we do have something else we can clear to add some points. So I told him to go with the keys because he needs to get that one at least off the list for that points value before canceling that upgrade, right? It would be beneficial simply because of the value of the upgrade. If this upgrade were higher, I would have had him cancel. But because the upgrade is not worth at, you know, 6,000 points or whatever, it's beneficial for him to at least bank in on some points. It's only worth 400 points less than, well, 800 points less than the, um, the keys, right? So right now, it would be beneficial if, it's, if he has a pattern of upgrade and then VU, and then he gets an upgrade. We need to look at the type of tasks he's been given to lower the odds of getting an upgrade task. So the game is going to give you tasks at random, right? So when you look at the type of task you're getting and, the, and you're looking at it, you're getting a, a random, randomly awarded tasks based off task type and task value. So if you pay very close attention to your list here, let's break it down in a different way. Let's look at the type of tasks he has. He has upgrade, expansion, keys, VU repair, war deliveries. These are all three different categories, five different categories here. Okay. Then he's got uh, factory production, epic project, war, uh, monster, war attack, production, and cargo. He has a very well rounded list of options. So if he were to cancel, it would be a pretty good bet that he would probably get another upgrade at you know, some point in the near future because they've given him so many other options. You know he's not, he, you know he's not a high level, right? So he only has a handful of uh, production tasks that are even available to him. Then he has a handful of task types. If you break down the, the types of tasks he can even get, we're looking at monster keys, VU repair, VU launch, like four or five different types of upgrades, roughly. Um, and then you've got keys, and then you've got VU repair, and you you break it down and you look, and he, he's got everything in his list already. So the chances of him getting a high-valued production over a high-valued upgrade is slim. So it's a good idea to kind of break up some of the randomness to his list. We're trying to get his list set up for rotation so that we can say, okay, we're ignoring, you know, eight out of these 15 tasks or whatever, and now we're rotating just these three. That's what rotation is. So he does the, let's see. He does the keys, okay? And he gets a sugar task that's right around 4,000 points. Now, normally, you would ignore the sugar if it's too low value. But given how high value this is, and how early in the contest it is, and all the other options on his list, 
he cannot afford to ignore this. So I told him that he needed to prep the sugar and that um, he needed to do the war deliveries. So here's the thing. Him being idle, he has a really hard time with, let's see. He has a really hard time with staying on, on track, prepping and getting things done on a in a timely manner. Almost every week he falls behind. He's usually got about 40 tasks remaining by the second day with, with two days left of the contest. And that's just not realistic. You know, you've got to move quicker than that. Now, part of that includes knowing, you know, how to utilize your downtimes. If you do have a, an idle period where you have a really long task, you need to take advantage of that in other ways and get things done. Always, always be working on other things. You know, for example, this is at the point in the list where I tell him the obvious. I say, hey, you're going to prep sugar, okay? This is going to take two rounds of you. So did you prep sugar the night before? I don't know, but he said he had it already going. So I don't know how long he had on that. Now, I also don't know what time zone he's on. For all I know, it was his daytime and he just screwed up his whole day. I have no idea, okay? But right now I'm looking at a list and I'm looking at time remaining in the contest. He's got five days, he's got a sugar task sitting there, but he really can't afford to be idle that long over 760 points difference. So I told him to get the, all the sugar making, all 40 that he could, okay? And I told him, to, what is the next plan of attack here? What should he do? I already told you the answer, but why do it, Why did I pick that answer? Out of all the other ones, why did I pick that one? Because we've got that Latin upgrade, which like I said, we still don't have a very well-rounded, we still have a very you know well-rounded list. We don't have a very good setup to be canceling tasks right now. So he has a premium down there that's worth 500 points less than a 2K average, right? So ideally, I could have had him earn 200 more points by doing the U repair. However, that would not have opened up a premium slot. And that would have only opened up the VU repair. It would not have opened up a war delivery spot. It would not have excluded a war item from the list it would have opened up VU and that's it, right? It doesn't mean that you're only gonna get VU, it just means that that's the possibility that you opened up. So it's actually more beneficial for him to do the war deliveries, okay? Why, why not something lower on the list under this circumstance? Because this is his highest premium, okay? This is the highest valued premium that he has on his list that he can rotate. Why would we pick the caps that are worth a fraction of that or the war attack that's worth a fraction of that when we have a higher premium on the list, right? Okay, so he does the war deliveries. And he gets a launch VU attack for 6,000 points, right? Let me make sure this is right. Yep, okay. So he goes ahead and does that. That's a pretty, you know, obvious um, option here. So he can make up some points. That's great. And now we're here again. Okay. So now we've got a total of five tasks done. And he's got 19,000 points. And he should be running right around a 4K average, which would be five times four is 20,000. So he's not too far behind on his average. Those couple of 6,000 tasks were able to bring his score up enough to not be too far behind. Now, what's the next plan of attack here? This is like getting an 800 point task on a normal day and it's Paris, so it's non-premium. So that is not a go for the moment. We have better tasks at the bottom of the list that we would wanna do. Now, we have a couple options here. We can either say, go ahead with the sugar. I don't know how long it's been. I don't know if he has anything ready to collect. Okay, so if it were me, I would probably do sugar as my next option. However, if the sugar is really, really, really far out, okay, and if it's just a really bad time of day, he could go with that cancel upgrade, but like I said, it's risky with what he has going on right now. 
what he has going on right now, if you pay very close attention to his list, is we want to break this down. Let's let's go back through it, okay? For what 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 he has now and what he had at the beginning, the the bottom half of his list. So right now he has a non-premium airport. He has a factory task, which sucks, by the way, that he has to get done. He has a non-premium land expansion that's taking a 2K placement in his list. This is why these need to get done before you hit Mega, okay? They are a, they are a major problem. They just are. They hold the 2K value. They it, It's really hard for people to hold on to Dozer and all the other items that they need to hold on to. And it's really hard for them to do these assignments back to back. They're never worth more or less than what the value is right in front of your face. And uh, they just, they reappear. So canceling them is absolutely useless. I don't care what predicament that you are in, never cancel a land expansion task. It will just come right back, okay? So don't do it. Now you can do the land expansion if you have the dozer to do it and get, a, get some quick 2K points if you'd like, but ultimately it is gonna come back and you're going to be frustrated again so realistically this is an excellent task for the low leaks okay so anytime you get this task in the lower leaks do it okay don't cancel it there's no point in canceling it's just going to come right back and even in the lower leaks but do it if you can do it so let, we're going to ignore that expansion it just doesn't even exist okay unless he comes up with dozer which even if he did then it would more or less just be a quick 2,000 points right Okay, so the VU repair right now is a no-go. It's a non-premium, and it's not holding a 2K average, or 4K average in this case. So really, we're probably going to ignore that for the rest of the, the contest, unless he falls behind on the time and needs to add quick, fast, easy points. Okay, so that's what those tasks are pretty much utilized for. So we know that Paris is out. We know that the expansion is out and the V repair is out. But if you pay very close attention, all three of those are non-premium, okay? Now, then you have, let's go back to the bottom of his list. Okay, you have a non, well, you have a, Chems is non-premium, but factory production is premium. So this is kind of a, a gray zone, okay? It's, it's a situation where factory tasks, the only one technically that, is, that goes up to 3,000 points is the electric. And normally you don't get a 3,000 point electric task. It, it happens very rarely. Now, he doesn't even have that unlocked at his level. So technically, factory productions are non-premium for him, but premium technically for others. So I, I put him on the, the premium list because they are usually worth 2,000 points to 2,500 points. So they're right around that, that zone, okay? Um, but you really want to look more on the non-premium side of things to say, hey, you know, the odds of me getting one worth more than 2,000 points and the amount of time they take and the fact that they only open up more downtime. You really want to avoid factory productions of this particular time frame or higher like if you get plastic or metal or uh you know minerals or whatever that's great you can do those really quickly um a 1760 metal task versus a 2000 point chemicals task i mean really it's hands down right like why would you want to spend two hours or even four hours making chemicals so yeah i mean factory productions really suck okay and opening the, up the possibilities sucks as well. Now, normally at a level for a level 24 player, the ones that are gonna be worth the most are gonna be feed and glass. If it were me, I would prep feed. Now, but here's the thing, the most frequent common factory production task that low, the level 24 players get is sugar. However, sugar is usually not worth that much. Okay, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. I would still prep feed if it were me. Feed or glass. Okay, so 
we know that that is out. We know that right now the Epic's out and that he has that upgrade Tokyo for, you know, 2000. That's going to sit there the rest of the contest. He ha basically the only thing that he really has rotatable at this point is that common war attack, the caps, which he should have those making. Okay. Anybody who saw this at the beginning of the list, if you were really smart, you would have those making the moment you saw them on your list. You would get them going, okay? Not wait until you have to do them to get them going. Now, let's say you prepped something else. Let's say you prepped shoes and you have uh, 10 shoes done. Don't collect all of them and start prepping caps. Don't do that. Just pick up one and put one cap down so that if you get a shoes task in the meantime, that you have them done and you don't have waste you haven't wasted all this time okay and that goes for any kind of uh production but this is what i'm referred to as multitasking okay so right now we have the rotatable war attack which is technically um it has the possibility of opening up a premium placement of the fact that it's the type of task that we're looking at here and then you have uh the caps, which is a production, which can be premium. And you have cargo ship deliveries. Now, this particular task is non-premium. The most it will ever be worth is 1,800 points. However, if it is not worth 1,800 points, do not touch it. Leave it alone, okay? If it's worth 1,800 points, the reason that you're doing it is to get it off of your list for the points value that it is. So here, the, the tasks that fall into this particular category include the monster, if it's worth 2,000 points or higher, the cargo ship, if it's worth 1,800 points only, if it's worth 1,800 points. Anything lower than that, you don't touch it. The keys, if they're worth 2,000 points or higher. The VU repair, if, they're, if it's worth 2,000 points or higher. All of those tasks, okay? are tasks that are non-premium that should never be touched unless they are of those points values or higher. And the reason that they're being touched is because they're holding a, a placement on your list. If you had all of those on your list worth 2,000 points, the odds of you getting a premium that's higher is slim to none. So when, when you say, oh, I shouldn't do keys or, oh, I shouldn't do VU repair, that's not necessarily true. It just depends on the circumstances you know what I mean? So you gotta you gotta really look at what you're you're looking at here. If you had, hypothetically speaking, let's say you had a twenty five hundred monster, a, a two thousand keys, a two thousand VU repair, and you have a one thousand or fifteen hundred war delivery, which one's the correct choice? Well, sure, you can open up possibility with war delivery, but until you clear up some of those 2K tasks, you're not going to really get much of anything good because you have too many high-value tasks sitting in your list, right? So you need to clean them up. You need to rotate them out. That is what rotation is, is when you rotate out non-premium tasks for low non-premiums to get high premiums. So pay attention to what I just said. You're rotating out low value non-premium, something like, or sorry, you're rotating out high non-premium, something like a 2,500 monster in hopes of getting low non-premium, something like a 1K monster, so that you have a better chance of receiving a higher premium, something like a launch legendary war attack for 3,000 points or higher, okay? That is what rotation is. Reverse rotation is when you have a bunch of low non-premiums and you have nothing else on your list really. So if you were to look at your list right now and let's say that it was full of one, you got a 1K monster, uh, 1K, uh, 1200 VU repair, 1,200 keys, you've got five upgrades in your list, but they're all worth 1,000 points right around there, you know, 1,000 to 1,500. And for the most part, you really don't have any high-valued tasks. That is reverse rotation. That is where you have to decide 
which task it is that you choose to rotate out for a higher premium. And that's where reverse rotation comes in. Now, reverse rotation is not as common as rotation. Reverse rotation is actually really rare um, when you get really stuck, stuck. Like, sometimes you have reverse rotation and you still have a couple tasks available, but it's rare to have your full list, uh, all low non-premiums. It, it's very rare. Usually, that happens when you get what you would call a good start to your list when you open up your list and it's all uh, low non-premiums and high premiums. And you're like, wow, this is great. I've got a 1,000 monster. I've got a 1,000 keys. You know, um, I've got the coins task. I've got the Paris of 800 points down there at the bottom. And then you've got maybe a launch VU for 3,000 and maybe a, another um, production task for over 2,000 points. So you're like, okay, this is great. But what ends up happening is once you do those couple tasks worth the really high values, it has a way of kind of flipping the script on you. And now you're kind of stuck with all these options that really aren't good options to pick. And it's it really comes down to picking the lesser of the two evils to open up something good. And it can be very difficult to deal with reverse rotation because technically you don't really want to touch any of them, right? And like I said, it's a rare uh, occurrence to be in a full reverse rotation, but it does happen. And when it does happen, it is a nightmare to get out of it, okay? So as you proceed on, you're looking at possibilities. You're looking at what you have that is rotatable. So when I look at a task list here, I break it down into three main categories. I have the ones you're not going to touch, the ones that are in the main line of sight, you know, like this is obviously the one or the this one or this one that are of a high value that should be done. And then you have the possible tasks, the ones that are in your near future, the ones that are I could see you doing at some point, but not quite yet tasks, you know, like for instance, in this instance, you have the Latin American upgrade that you're contemplating canceling, and then you have the keys, but then you look further down and you've got the word deliveries. So these are all near future tasks, right? Then you look a little further down and you see, okay, well, there's a caps task down there at the bottom. That's definitely going to be done at some point in the contest. It's going to be. It's just a matter of when to rotate it in, right? Because if we rotate it in right now, it's not going to do a whole lot for us. It's just going to waste it, to be honest with you. So that's more or less just something that we're opening up the possibility of. Okay, so let's continue on and see what he has going on here. So we went through all this and, okay, I think, he, okay, so he does this. This is where we left off. So he had gotten that and I had told him, um, hang on just a second here. Okay, I told him to do the sugar and I don't know, you know, how long that took him or Maybe that's the last thing he sent me. Okay, that's the last thing he sent me. Um, and I will, I, that's it. So I told him to, this is what he had sent me before. He said, you know, full list is this and I cap slash sugar. Sugar is right, right? Or cancel 4,800 Latin upgrade, which is correct. What do I pick? Okay, so in Okay, I'll deal with her in a minute. Hang on. So right now, we've got, let me, okay, let me check. I told him to do the sugar, and prep caps is what I told him to do further up the list. So hopefully he has those done by the time the sugar's done. There should be no reason why he shouldn't have the caps done. Now, he doesn't necessarily want to collect on them yet, but they should be ready for pickup just in case. Now let's go to uh, my student number two two and give me just a second okay 
So in this instance, um, let's see. This is at the beginning of the contest. Okay, so she got, she's in Mega. So we're gonna set the scene super quick here. She's level 24. However, she is one of my students that she wanted to make sure that she got her Epic projects unlocked and she wanted to make sure that uh, she was able to buy things Oops, during the, um, what do you call it? The sale for Black Friday. So she actually speed leveled up to level 24 before she really was ready to be level 24. Um, but it's not a big problem because she's been able to win Mega both weeks that she's been in it. But I've been working really hard with her, um, training her properly. She's doing really good. She usually makes not now the first week she was really bad. Okay. She was making all wrong choices because she was looking at the wrong thing. She was the one that was looking at, um, always, you know, looking at the highest task, got to get that highest task done. And then something I said clicked with her and she's pretty much made 99.9% .9 correct choices ever since. So most of the time I, she can usually, if I don't respond to her within a couple of hours, I usually don't have a whole lot of issues with her because she'll send me her stuff in and I'll see, okay, she's made a lot of good choices and then I'll kind of catch up with her. So right now, she's got that upgrade war disaster card for 6,000 points. This is a, a must go. Okay. So either do it or get rid of it because it needs to, it's worth a lot of points. It's an easy task. This is exactly why I tell people to launch war attacks before the contest, uh, before you hit mega. This is why it is so important because this is such an easy task to complete and it is really good points. Okay, so you are playing war. All you got to do is buy jackpots with your war simoleons and launch your highest attacks, earn as many points as you can, collect as many war cards as you can. And that way, when you get this task, all you have to do is upgrade a war attack and boom, you got 6,000 points. Okay, so she did that. I'm going to go ahead and assume. Now, depending on what she got, she would have definitely went for the mountain one next. That's definite, okay, because it's worth 5,000 points. Now, she's also got a delivery to Paris, but, I mean, realistically, it, that is non-premium, but it is still worth quite a bit of points. She's going to have to do that at some point. She's not going to touch either the Urn Simoleons or the Sugar, and she's got a launch legendary attack which definitely is going to need that's rotatable absolutely rotatable um she needs to prep the paint and she needs to keep her eye on that launch one disaster in during rotation not right now because it the spawn rate for a launch three vu is slim to none she has an upgrade uh building down there at the bottom but eh, she more than likely won't need to touch that um the epic points and the VU repair are also really low, so she probably won't need to touch those either. So the rotatable tasks that she has is paint and that VU and then the launch uh, legendary attack. And then she has her main three up at the top that she can work. So she has her three rotatables at the bottom and her three main at the top. So she should have went with uh, upgrade war. Okay. She does the upgrade war, she does the mountain, and she gets upgrade Paris and textiles in return. Now the textiles are actually worth really low points. So that's a no-go for the time being, okay? But, but it's a matter of what did she prep? Does she have things prepped already? Because if she does, it, it just kind of depends on what she's got already set up in her factories. Now, here she is, she's got 57 assignments left. She's got keys at 2,000. And she's got that launch legendary war attack that could open up something. But given the fact that she can get that keys done for 2,000, I think she should go ahead and do the keys. It's quick. She can get it done. It's going to hold her, her average. Okay. 
Awesome. So it opens up a higher task. It gives her a 6K London, which I know she did. Okay. Now she gets the veggies. So she's got veggies that that is definitely her next go. It's her highest premium. She knows she, she better know this by now. I'll kick her butt. Okay. Wait a minute. What's she, is that her question? Did Keys and London prepping veggies and paint question? At what point do you token a task as opposed to adding at one at a time? What does she mean? Okay, hang on. Okay, I think I know what she's saying. So, do. So I know she's going to watch this video. Um, I'm going to do the best to answer her in a text message, but to answer her question on here, if you have, for instance, the paint, I don't know how, for all I know, that paint task could be done on its own without needing to use tokens because she has so many other options ahead of the paint, right? When I said that the paint is rotatable, it's rotatable in the near future. It, I mean, that could be days away, you know? You don't know. For all you know, she keeps getting good tasks and she doesn't have to mess with the paint, so she may have plenty of time to do it. But the veggies is her next go. So that would be the one to stick the token on, right? Because that's the one that needs done right now. Okay, so let's see. Hang on just a second here. Give me a minute so I can uh, type her a message and then I will unpause the video because I don't want to have to waste a minute and a half watching you watch me type. Okay. All right, you guys. I am back. Now I'm going to open up my game so that I can go through a couple more exercises with you guys. Now, last night, somebody in my group had asked me a question about um, legendary attacks. If a legendary war attack is a premium or if it's a non-premium. Now, just so that everybody is aware, there is a contest of Mayor's Guide that I wrote up that is on our Facebook page. It is also in the description of the 14-minute uh, gold epic video. And I will start adding, I'm going to do my best to add them into the descriptions of some of the Contest of Mayors videos as well. But more importantly, if you go to our SimCity Build It Missy Ann YT Facebook page and you join our group, you click the announcements section, there is a full list of the production plan, the uh, Contest of Mayors guide, and the leveling guide all right there. Okay? So... If you needed a list of non-premium versus premium tasks, that would be available to you, right? So you would have that information. You wouldn't uh, have to question it. But one thing that kind of strikes me that it, as odd, and a lot of people do this, and I, I don't know, it, it's odd to me. But anyways, uh, one of them is that for whatever reason, people only focus on if something is premium or non-premium and they only focus on doing premium only versus non-premium. And that's kind of where I think there's a, a miscommunication. So for instance, if you see somebody and let's say they have a list of a 2,500 monster, a 2,000 keys, a 2,000, uh, or let's say a 2,400 VU repair, and um, maybe a I don't know, uh, 4,800 Latin American home. Well, let's just say 3,000 whatever. But the point is they have a lot of high-valued non-premium tasks. And they will go and pick, let's say, the launch one legendary attack because it's premium. And it opens up possibility of, of another premium. But that's not the correct choice. Because they have so many high-valued tasks in their list right now that they don't really have any options. Right? They're not, they don't have a whole lot of opportunity to be had. And so I understand that the thought process, you know, that they're, they're, 
they're thinking, okay, these are non-premium, this is premium, this is gonna open up something good, but the problem is, is you have too many tasks sitting of a high points value, you gotta clear up some of those. You really want to have, realistically, most of the time, you have right around three to four 2,000 point tasks and maybe one or two tasks worth right around uh, 2,500 or higher. And that's rare. You know, you don't usually have a lot of uh, 3K tasks. Usually you get one here and there, and then you kind of make up for it um, later. And most of the time, the really high value tasks are airport and upgrades, okay? Now you do get war uh, assignments that are worth like quite a bit of points or whatever, but you're you have to be in a club that's doing war, or you have to have the monster there for unless it's something else like launch this specific attack or whatever the case may be. But the point I'm getting at here is somebody can say, well, I have this uh, task here that's non-premium. If they were to say, I have a monster, I have keys, I have VU repair, and I have a a launch legendary attack. Which one should I do? How many people here would tell them to do the launch legendary attack? Because it's premium. But the biggest mistake is nobody here, nobody thought to say, well, what value are they? That's the key, you know? It's not just about breaking it down into premium and non-premium. It's about being able to break down every aspect of the situation. And that is what people are doing wrong. So I'm sitting here and I'm trying to figure out what I can say to make this click, to make this um, make more sense for, for people, right? And it's just not working, you know what I mean? Like people just aren't getting it. And hang on just a second. Okay, sorry guys, I'm back. We're experiencing a major power outage out this way. So anyways, um, back to what I was trying to say. So I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is that people are not doing correctly. And I truly believe that what it really comes down to is people are not thinking enough. They're not taking the time to really look at what task they need to choose and why they need to choose it. They're looking at their list and maybe they're confused as to, you know, what they need to know about each task or whatever. And they're just trying to pick something because it has, you know, a high points value or because it's premium, but they really are not understanding you know, what rotation is or what reverse rotation is. So they're kind of like fake it till I make it kind of thing. And I understand that it takes time. It's probably really confusing, you know, hearing me talk about it and then doing it on your own is two totally different things. So I wanted to kind of go through it with you guys and show you guys exactly what you should be doing. Now, let's say hypothetically that you are all on your own, okay? Missy is not here to direct you. What should you be doing? What do you do? Okay, first thing you need to look at setting the scene, remember? So you're gonna say, okay, I've got this, this much time left, I'm this level, I do these type of tasks, you know, I am or I am not doing upgrades, I do or I don't have the ability to upgrade my war disaster card here. Um, if it's just a matter of keys, maybe launch a, a VU and earn enough keys to, to do the upgrade on your, your war card or figure something out, right? Cancel it, do what you gotta do. But the point is you need to go through your entire list, even if you know which one is the first choice, okay? I know which one's the correct choice, just right off looking at it, just right in front of me. I already know that the first one is the correct choice. It's worth 6,000 points, it's premium, it's quick, it's easy, and it's an absolute go. But does that mean that I should ignore the rest of my list and proceed on right away? Absolutely not. That is not the first plan of attack here. 
what needs to happen is I need to plan, analyze, and be strategic. I need to say, okay, this is the beginning of the contest. This is my first choice. This is what I need to do. I can do it, excellent, but let's, before I do that, let's see what else I can get in play here. Okay, I have an urn cactus simoleons task. I need to think about that and say, okay, I know I haven't touched that shipment thing in a couple of days, so I know that that's okay. Uh, maybe look in my inventory and see how many cactus items I have that I can sell to the people. Um, the Paris deliveries for three, I know that's going to need done in the near future, so I can come over here to my airport and see if Paris is even here when it arrives. Let's say that it leaves in 45 minutes, right? And I know that realistically, I'm probably not gonna be doing that task within the next 45 minutes. I can go ahead and send off for a new ship, or I can just wait, or I can look at what it is asking me for and start to keep that in mind if I come across any of these items on the global market, right? Okay, so continuing further down my list, I have glass that I know that I'm not going to be doing, but that's still something I need in the back of my mind. If I do want to prep for it, uh, I would recommend prepping for something else. Then I've got tape. I need to get that prepped uh, and going one at a time. And the launch disasters, I need to make sure that I can launch one, make sure I don't have any, you know, V repair just sitting out there that's, you know, un done unless I had planned to do keys or VU repair, then that would be something that should be done so I can get my VU, uh, my launch VU done right away. Um, and just going through your list and making sure that you are ready. If you have any preparation tasks, you're getting them done. If you, um, if you see, hey, it's asking me to make paint later, and I have a whole shop full of planks, it might be a good idea to pick up one plank and put down one paint and at least get it going. Then go and do your first assignment, okay? Now, more importantly, it's knowing when to cancel and what assignment to choose. And I think for a lot of people, what's happening is they're not really thinking it through. They're looking at everything but they're not really looking at everything. They're glancing, they're going through their list, they're saying, okay, I've got all this stuff, but they don't really know what they're looking at and why. You know, they're not going, oh, okay, well, you know, I, what do I know about this task? What do I know about that task? What, what will happen if I do this task? What opens up if I do that task? You know, and, and running through all the scenarios in your head, looking at the total points available looking at the type of task available, looking at your odds. You know, you know you can't have more than one launch VU task at any one time. So you know for a fact, if it sits there, that you know you're not gonna get another one, right? Uh, same thing with the monster. You're not gonna get two launch attacks on monster. So you know that if you have a 2,500 point monster or 2,000 point monster, that you're not gonna get another one so you really need to clear that up because of its points value, right? Now, there are certain tasks that come back more frequently than others, right? So like, let's say you were to clear a epic task, for example. Epic tasks don't always come right back. In fact, most of the time they don't. But if you clear a VU repair task, most of the time those do come back, okay? Almost always they come back. Same with the, uh, the um, land expansion and the, the monster, the view repair, the, the keys, those almost always come back. Now, upgrades can pop up in multiples. That's why those are kind of dangerous to mess with. So realistically, if you have low-valued upgrades as a low-level player, it's a good thing. But if you have low level upgrades as a high level player, it is not a good thing because it, as a high level player, you can do upgrades. And if you have a 1K Green Valley upgrade in your list, you have stopped all possibilities of getting a 3K Green Valley task. And that sucks. So it 
really does depend on everything that's going on in your game, your level, all that. It has a huge, huge impact on your choice. And so I guess what, what people really need to understand here, and then I'm going to end this video, is that always remember that you can have the same list and have a different correct answer based off which player it goes to. Okay, if I take the same exact list and I make copies of it and I hand it to 10 different players of all different levels, all different leagues, all choices will be different. Okay, one player that is a high, let's say you have a high level player, they may make a decision that you would not have made because they have the ability to do it. Or let's say you have a player who hasn't unlocked tokens yet or whatever the case may be the point is is what if you have a player in a lower league you wouldn't want to do any of your really good uh up upgrade ward you know stuff in in metro or uh you wouldn't want to spend a lot of cash in suburban and city right so if you're in the lower leagues your d choices are going to be drastically different and so the type of league that you're in, the level that you are, all that stuff has a huge impact on your choices. And so when people come to me with no knowledge, me giving me no knowledge of their game, what level they are, what stuff they have going for them, you know, do you have tokens available? Do you have all five slot factories? Do you have your shops prepped? Um, are you level 24 or are you level 23? You know, how many factory slots do you have? Did you uh, did you think about how you were going to do the monster? Do you have the airport unlocked? Do you even have the VU tower unlocked? You know, you can get airport tasks whether you have the airport unlocked or not. So that plays a huge role. Uh, do you have... Are you like a level 30 and you can do airport upgrades if you really wanted to? You know, there's all these different contributing factors and people are not realizing that the choices change based on the circumstances, not just what's in the list. And once you realize that, it'll make your choices easier. So when you look at your choices and you're confused, if you're ever confused, and I'm sure it's probably quite a bit, the very first thing, the very first thing that you should do is a task assessment, okay? and you go through that list, and that's what we've done today. You're gonna go through your list and you're gonna cross off anything that you don't think is a go, okay? Then you're going to say, okay, these are my rotatable tasks. So don't cross off something that's like a 600 produced caps, okay? That's something that you could do in the near future. I'm talking cross off things you know you're not going to do. Something like a 1K monster, a 1200 VU. Cross those off. Then you'll have usually about three tasks that are a low points value that you know you're going to rotate at some point. And then you have usually two to three high value tasks that are either kind of iffy, you know, or they need maybe one needs canceled, or you don't know which one to pick out of the three. Then work on that, okay? Now let's see what he has to say, and then we will go ahead and end this video, and hopefully it's helpful to you guys. So we're going to open up his message here and see what his next deal is. Okay, so he got the sugar done, and he got another 3K, uh, well, launch 3VU for 6,000 points. Okay, awesome. So... We'll say go ahead and yeah he knows what he should be doing there and we'll see what it seems like vu 6k is popping up quite a bit for him this round which is really good if as so long as he has vu that is okay so given the uh length of this video i'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded i hope that it helps because i'm running out of things to say <laughs>